To solve this problem, we need to apply the Gay-Lussac law, uh, where we're going to be looking at both pressure and temperatures for a gas. Our first step in problem solving is always going to be to identify the known and unknown variables in our problem. Uh, so as we read the problem, we can look up and know the starting pressure, P1, is equal to 105 kilopascals. Uh, we're also able to look up the ending pressure. We'll call that P2. This is going to be 15 kilopascals. We're also given information about the temperature. However, this is a bit complicated in this problem because we're given temperature in degrees Celsius. In order to work with any of the gas laws, we're always going to need to convert our temperatures to Kelvin. To do that temperature conversion, we're always going to add 273.15. So this allows us to calculate that our T1 is 345. 0.15 Kelvin. And finally, uh, what we're trying to find in this problem is that final temperature, which we'll call T2. So I'm just going to put a question mark indicating that this is the factor that we are trying to solve for. Our next step is to solve for T2. This is the variable that we're trying to find out about. It's a bit complicated in this question because uh, we actually have T2 in the denominator here. To solve for it, we need to move it to the numerator. Now, a quick little trick that we can do is to take the inverse of both of these fractions and rewrite the Gay-Lussac law as T1 over P1 equals T2 over P2. We can then multiply each side of the equation by P2 And this will allow us to solve for T2. So we can solve and see that T2 is equal to P2 times T1 divided by P1. We've solved for T2, and we found that it was T1 multiplied by P2 divided by P1. The next step in problem solving will be to substitute in our known values. Our T1 value was 345.15 Kelvin. I need to multiply that by P2, which was 15 kilopascals. The final thing will be to divide by the initial pressure, which was 105 kilopascals. Our last step is to solve and then evaluate our answer for both, uh, is it an appropriate answer, does it have the correct number of significant digits. We've solved to find an answer uh, that our final temperature, or T2, will be equal to 49 Kelvin. If the problem, however, requires that we find an answer in degrees Celsius, we would need to subtract 273.15. This would allow us to calculate an answer of negative 224 degrees Celsius. So again, our final answer is either 49 Kelvin or negative 224 degrees Celsius. To evaluate our answer to see if it makes sense, we really want to think about what was happening to this gas. We know that we started nearly at atmospheric pressure. We decreased the pressure to um, a quite low pressure of 15 kilopascals. The gas was starting out at a temperature which is pretty near room temperature. In order to get a gas uh, to a much lower pressure, we'd uh, have to actually cool it considerably. So our answer makes sense in the context of knowing how particles will behave uh, under the kinetic molecular theory.